It's Season of the Force at the Disneyland Resort. First time since 2015 they've held this event. We're here to experience the opening day. We're going to try all the food. We're going to hit all the rides. We are going to celebrate Star Wars today. It's Season of the Force. Star Wars Season of the Force has begun here at the Disneyland Resort. Well, it's just Disneyland, I guess, not DCA. And we are heading into Galaxy's Edge, where we're going to be spending half of our day today here at Galaxy's Edge and also in Tomorrowland. Before we even get into the show, though, let's just kind of take a vibe check. Yeah, this way we're going. See what the scene is like here in Batu, Black Spire Outpost. I just go ahead and say that I am grateful for season of Force. I love having excuses to celebrate Star Wars. <laughs> Liz and I have been celebrating yes. a lot of Star Wars lately. We've watched, yeah. we just watched all nine films mm -hmm. over the period of like, I don't know, a week or two, yeah, it seems it like. Uh, so we're primed. We're primed for we Star Wars, for uh, season of the Force. We're actually kind of primed to see sequel trilogy characters here today. We. Yeah. We, wa we actually we just finished watching Rise. Rise of Skywalker last night, and this was the first time ever that I wasn't completely disappointed. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely <laughs> had its not great moments, but overall, I, I enjoyed it more than I did the first time around. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I don't think I want to see horses galloping on the oh, yeah, side of a, 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 a spaceship, <laughs> but, uh, but no, for the, I, it was good. I enjoyed it. Looking forward to seeing Ray yeah. and Kylo here in uh, out here in the common areas. Right behind us is the Millennium Falcon. I wonder if she would appreciate if I called her Ray Skywalker. I'm just gonna call her just Ray. That's what she is to me. To me, she should actually be Ray Solo, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, you wanna go ride? You wanna pick some of those runs? I'm down, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Chewy, we're home. The, the queue and the and the deck here at the Falcon, that's the whole show, man. Like I would be okay if we just exited to the gift shop right now. <laughs> I mean, unless you're a pilot, but we didn't get pilot again. No, so. we're so we just push like one. We're engineers, we're button pressers, we're spammers, yeah. Hey, you pilot that Pull back on the stick to fly up and push forward to fly down. Now let's go get that to action. Right pilot, make the jump to light. They've got on to us. There is a seat <laughs> yeah, we wrecked that falcon. <laughs> like bad. We did. We, we didn't do. We did not do very well. No. Look, we got R2D2 out here with us. He doesn't come out often. 
Where are they going? I don't know if you heard the cast member did a high ground joke. A high ground joke? Yeah. Oh, like high ground, low ground. I, yeah. I have the high ground! <laughs> What you doing down there, low ground? Because I have the high ground! That's why. Bah! Now go play in the lava. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> what, you say? what else is he saying in that moment? I hate you. That's it, right? And then he, wow, wow. You are like an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you are like a brother to me. You know, Ray and R2 up there just gave me a great idea. What's your great idea? I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Let's go see what they have at... They have some food here for Season of the Force. We won't hate it. <laughs> First stop in our food adventure today for Season of the Force is going to be at Docking Bay 7. Food items or food choices are light. I was hoping for more. It's not... We got more for Star Wars Day, I think, than we got for this whole Season of the Force, which is supposed to last for... or end of May. Two new food items. Uh, this is the first one here. The fried chicken bao. Two crispy chicken baos, spicy katsu sauce, and creamy slop. I'll say. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm into. I love creamy slaw, I love the spicy katsu sauce, I love bao, and crispy chicken. Or tip yet, actually. That's the spicy sauce there. This is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. This is really good. Everything works like it should. Crunchy chicken, not too chewy. Okay. I love the slaw, I love slaw basically creamy salt in any kind of sandwich. The spicy sauce is tasty, has a nice kick, but it's not too spicy that it gets in the way. Look at that little trippy drip. Yeah, is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really good, I really enjoy that. The only thing I would want is more. This is going for $14.99. <laughs> So that's, Just for these little that's, two things? Yeah, that's seven fifty each. Aye, aye. I could eat four of these. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how, big, how good a value that is. I would want more. The chicken, the chicken, you know, bite in there. It's it's, it's not a seven dollar piece of chicken. I'll say that. But uh, still, it's very, very good. I mean, it is good. Just maybe a little overpriced. I, I'm still hung, I'm going to still be hungry when we're done with this. Definitely dark meat. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. But it's very tender. I thought so. But yeah, that slaw. The slaw, yeah. It I makes could, it. I could just eat the slaw. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and the bao bun. It's really good. No, I, I really, really like it. I'm gonna wash it down, by the way, with the cold brew black cap. This is not new to this event. It's a standard serving here at Docking Bay 7, but it's very, very popular. You go out there and you, when you pick things up at the counter, there's like 20 of these things getting ready to be picked up. Uh, it, it, it's cold brew coffee, I'm assuming Joffrey's, topped with sweet cream cheese and chocolate puffs. Very good, tasty. Baby robots. <laughs> Is it just the one? There should be three of them. I see two. No, he's moving. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
Yes, your jumping has gotten very, very excellent. Really good. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> I see you believe in something. Yeah. We'll uh, oh. look into it. Oh. Darn it, I gave myself away. Yes. <laughs> so close. <laughs> This outpost is nothing but smugglers, thieves, and pirates. Affirmative. Affirmative. Babe, what you got there is the polystarch puff bread. Yum. Have you heard people talk about this? Yes. <laughs> I think the first order just arrived. Multi-layered pastry with a crunchy, sweet, streusel shell. I've had one before. Me too. You have? I have. It's been a minute since I've had it though, so I'm very excited. Well, to they're back it. for this event. Yay, they're so good. Here we go. <laughs> I love croissants. That top, like that crunchy top. Yeah. It's almost having like a sugar cookie on top. It doesn't look like much. Mm -mm, but it's so good. But <laughs> it tastes great. It's like buttery, almost like a shortbread cookie on top. Yeah. And the inside, I think, is it inside apple? Because it's a strudel, right? Well, streusel. Or streusel, I mean. No. I don't know if it, I don't think, I don't, is there a filling in there? There is some type of filling, I think. There's multiple notes. The first thing you get is that the buttery croissant. And then you get the sweet, crunchy thing on top. Why they took this away? because it's not a full-time menu item here. So glad this is back for Season of the Force. To the marketplace, find the one other drink that they have. Actually, no, there's two more drinks. This one is from Catsocket's Kettle. It's the Kelto Slush. Plant-based, pandan-flavored horchata, topped with cold brew. I don't know what pandan flavor is. Me neither. I will say this. It looks great, like, from here, but it, when you, it looks like split pea soup. <laughs> It's cold and icy, but it looks like split pea soup. And it's plant-based, so. And it's plant-based. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, am I supposed to mix it? I, I would, because I'm thinking the cold brews on top of the, of the green. This does not look or sound appealing. <laughs> That's not bad. Wow. I was, I, in my mind, I had this vision that I was gonna have a, a drink of split pea soup. And then my taste buds are like, thank goodness. Oh, that's good. It is good, right? It tastes like, like pretty much like cinnamon toast crunch. It's cinnamon. Liquidy. That's the, that's what I was. Yeah. That's the flavor. Well, that's that, the horchata. Yeah, that's right. Because there's a lot of cinnamon in that. Yeah. And I'm guessing it's like an oat milk base. Yeah. I don't taste really anything almond. So it usually oats more creamy and thick. I don't think I don't think they do really soy here or anything like that. I'd be surprised. Yeah. That's it's ugly, but it's, it's good. It's ugly as heck. <laughs> but that's Star Wars food for you, because Star Wars food has never been attractive that looking. That is true. This yeah. would have been great with our, our puff bread. Too bad we ate it already so fast. Going to take this show next over to Tomorrowland, where they do have some Galaxy's Edge stuff happening as well. We'll go through the portal once more. You still hungry? Yeah. Because we got to try that new burger. They've got a, a Season of the Force burger at Galactic Grill. There's some merch at the Star Trader. Okay. Star Tours oh, has some new scenes that we get need to get into. <laughs> oh uh, I believe they're going to be Ahsoka and Andor, I That's think. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, so tomorrow night it is. Let's go. Be prepared, babe, for things to be a little less chill here in Tomorrowland okay. than they were in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Definitely different vibe. Gave it to me. Is, like, that the, is that the Jabba the Hutt popcorn bucket? Yeah. No, oh, there's something in there. There's but no still. popcorn in there. Yeah. Oh. He talks. Did you hear it? I, I heard him growling. Mm. <laughs> He's like Bowser. Oh, I hear it. That's that's kind of one of the cooler uh, popcorn buckets I've ever seen. I kind of like it, and it comes with this guy, his little friend. Would you on top kindly of it. leave it in frame, though? Because oh, that would so be sorry. so great. <laughs> I really you could leave it in frame. Really suck at my job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with this little guy too. Yeah, uh, that is salacious crumb. Salacious crumb. Yes, um, and he's uh, he's a little wiseacre that one. We but, don't need uh, to get one, but thank you for Kitra. Yeah, this is so apparently <laughs> Peter and Kitra are in there somewhere, and my like, wife oh. just stole their job of the hut. <laughs> Here you go. Like, <laughs> I was th I was actually thinking about getting one. I mean, one. it's pretty great, and I feel like we would actually maybe use this at We home. would never use it. That's true. If we go in like, the closet or in the garage, 100%, 100%. this is why I don't ever get them. No, but I know. he looks badass. And I didn't know he made that noise. I yeah. I love that. <laughs> Tell Jabba he'll get his money. Ah, okay. I don't, I don't, oh, he's still talking. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? I don't know. Uh, you say everybody gets boarded from time to time. Everyone gets bored from time boarded. to time. Boarded. Boarded time boarded. to time. I need to, like, no quotes from, like, the, the original uh, trilogy. I don't know them well. Nor do I know any, actually, any Star Wars quotes. I'm so sorry. I'm going to end this segment now. <laughs> okay, please do. Let's check out Star Trader. See what they've got. Oh, look, this right here, by the way, that guy, he's wearing the hoodie that I've been looking at. That's in there you somewhere. The I do, I do have a shirt just like that. I think this is new. So, what do we got? Two t shirts and some dishes. We got some dishes here. For, oh, there it is. Will Gay. These are tiny little plates <laughs> that. Uh, that uh, I guess you use for for what? What do you use this for? Look at Boba Fett. That's really cute. I really he's got like he's got Han Solo frozen in carbonite on a balloon. I wish See that? And then Darth Vader has a Death Star balloon. That's adorable. Really, really cute. I really do love the artwork. And there's Darth again with his <laughs> Death Star balloon. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Do you remember that? Remember she's got the job of the hut? Yeah, did you see it? Yeah, she, she helped me out. <laughs> I can't hear her from here. I know, it's actually off. I oh, did, did you that, turn it off? It off. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got some bowls. Uh, Death Star, Star Destroyer, a speeder, and a Bontha. What's that? Th oh, is that a moon? It's one of the, or one of the suns, I think. These are all right. They're cute. There we go. This I know is new. This is the Star Trader, or I'm sorry, Star Tour, Star Speeder 1000 cool. t-shirt. I like it. It's enormous. Well, yeah, it's 3X. That's a triple they, they X. They only have extra small, small, and 3X. So I guess we're not buying that shirt. Not right now, no. no. <laughs> uh, but that's great. I mean, I know we do like to share. Honey, I get it. I know you really Doesn't you like it. Doesn't that look cool? It. Yeah, and you have the shirt to go with it. Well, you can't wear the t-shirt to... No, that'd be overkill, wouldn't it? You would wear a simple black t-shirt or a white t-shirt underneath that. that. But it looks like they've only got extra small. Yeah. They have sold all of these. Wow. Wow. Well, Indeed. Oh, here's some more. Oh. Extra small and 3X. 3X. <laughs> wow. Well, we can always keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, I think but I do, like the, I do like the hoodie. That looks great. I've seen a lot of people wearing them out here today. It's cute. Yeah. I mean, it's, I guess Star Tours is Star Star Wars, but I would think Star Tours, I still think Tomorrowland. 
Does that make any sense? No, Star Tours is definitely Star Wars. I know, but it's in Tomorrowland, so when I think of the ride, I still think it's like a Tomorrowland. Uh, as opposed to... As, like, I don't know, like Smuggler's Run or Rise, because it's in a Star Wars land. Like, sure. We, I feel like we could, I wish we could move Star Tours to... Uh, uh, you and about a million other people have... have Ask for that. that, yeah. It would just, you know, it makes, you know, this something. Different. I don't know how you can exactly just pick up a ride and move it, you though, like that. You can't, but that's just Well, maybe you can, I don't know. Oh, can you? I, I, I They, could, they move you? houses like that. <laughs> that is true. I've seen that. I've seen a house on the back okay, of a Disney, truck. are you, if you're listening, move Star Tours to Batu. <laughs> would you ever get an, one of these? Uh, no. The I love you, I knows. No, we our wedding bands already do that for but us. But this—that's cute right there, though, don't you think? No. The the sweatshirt. No. You don't like the sweatshirt. No. And yeah, it's got the cool. No. <laughs> no. Uh, what do you call that? Like elbow pad type situation. They have one for the guys. And this one's got sparkles on it. It's more of the uh, new line. They have a new. Oh, look at that hoodie! Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. That's got. <laughs> this is cute. Do you remember the scene when his feet fly out because yes. it takes off? Aww. This scene always bothered me though. Yeah, it always drives me nuts watching that scene and watching them fly through this forest at 100 miles an hour. They should be hitting every tree in the forest. They should hit every tree and they're not even looking. They're like banging into each other. They're looking back. They're looking everywhere but right in front of them. No way that they should be able to survive that 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 race through the forest. They have a, a pillow, just like, oh my god, this is, yeah, Stormtrooper dinner. Right here. Yeah. And then that's also got on the back. Oh. Yup, nub. <laughs> so. so it looks like Liz has found. <laughs> she wants to. <laughs> why, why though, why? Because I love, he's my favorite. Who, Darth Vader? Yes! Okay, I love Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> but that's but you love Anakin. I love Anakin and Darth. When it even becomes, you know, this guy, in my head, it's just like it's just like Pedro Pascal in Mandalorian. In my head, they're still in that um, costume, uniform, armor. Yeah, Pedro Thank hasn't you. worn that armor for years. In my head, Pedro Pascal, just like An Anakin Skywalker, Hayden Christensen is still in this armor. It's really cute. I mean, it's cute. And so, yeah, it's the Will Gate line, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in love. I mean, I do like the idea of Darth Vader walking around with a Death Star balloon. So that's Star Wars merch at the Star Trader. We'll come right around the corner. Go to our next stop today for lunch, dinner-ish, at the Galactic Grill. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna start with the Bantha Burger. Not new, new. New to me, I've never had the Bantha Burger before, but they've been serving it here a little while. It's Star Wars day-ish, so we're gonna eat this thing. Angus beef and vegetable patty, marinated pork belly, American cheese, Asian-inspired slaw, and sambal sweet mayo on a toasted brioche bun. That's a lot of words. <laughs> it looks really overcooked to me. That that thing looks yeah. like they, they wanted to make sure you didn't mm -hmm. taste the bantha in that burger. <laughs> but I am looking forward to something that has, oh, I mean, pork belly. Oh, there it is, right there. That's the pork belly right there. Do you see that? Oh, yes. Gotta make sure we get that bite in there. That's kind of interesting. Very spicy. My goodness. Oh, we got water. <laughs> oh, he's dying. <laughs> if it's the Asian inspired slaw, probably not. Well, the slaw, the slaw does look very spicy on there. And it, the, the mayo is supposed to be sweet. So, but there you go. That, I think it's, I think it's this right here. Mm. That's really spicy. But, uh, as burgers go, it's not bad. I like that it's different. It's not a customary standard burger. 
flavors are new. <clears throat> flavors are new-ish. I do like the spice. So that's pretty good. What we're looking at now, this is on the seasonal menu. These are Phyrexian fries, waffle fries, pork chorizo, mm. chili de arbol. Oh, that's chili de arbol cheese sauce, black beans topped with avocado tomatillo sauce, green onions, and Oaxaca. Oaxaca. I got presentation is like a nine out of ten for me on this. This looks great. This looks like a lot of fun. I don't know if it's going to be good to eat, but I like the <laughs> colors. I like the I like the way it's all arranged. Everything looks fun. Let's just see how that goes. All the flavors are pretty good. Everything green, thumbs up. It's the protein that's a little bit like kind of okay. standard, kind of okay, kind of meh. The black beans are pretty good. As a you know, as a as a as a part of the meal as work. But when you get into the, the protein right here, things are a little bit iffy. But it's still it's a fun dish. This is fun. <laughs> You're having fun? I like having fun when I eat. It doesn't even have to taste good. If I'm having fun with it, <laughs> then that's the whole point. And I like Oaxaca. I like to say Oaxaca. It is a fun word. Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Yeah, this is like <laughs> this is burnt or it doesn't it look burnt? We should even call the Anakin hamburger. <laughs> It reminds me of those, uh, the the Mattel toys of Luke's parents, or oh, yeah. the Golo and Emperor. You I mean. showed me. I died. Um, the overall, it's been like you know sitting out. It's cold. It's a little bit, yeah. The bun's but the, cold. The flavor is actually really good. I agree. I'm loving the cheese. Like I'm a sucker for American cheese. I'm sure a lot of you are too. Um, I don't really need the pork, but you know I get another element to it. But you gotta love spicy food. Yeah. Like you gotta love like spices that linger in your mouth, like flaming hot Cheetos, like type of status, yeah. like spices, because it's all I'm tasting now is just spice. Yeah, it's dominating. But I mean, not 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 too shabby. Uh, yeah. Uh, Granny Smith apple slush with Millennium Falcon Glow Cube is how we're going to try to cool off from that very spicy hot entree there. Wow. It's pretty tasty. Be careful. Not too fast. Take it easy. <laughs> Doesn't taste anything like a Millennium Falcon, though. <laughs> it's mostly, all I can taste is the Mandra or the uh, Granny Smith apple. You're, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you were my brother. <laughs> you were the chosen one. You were the chosen <laughs> Defeat the Sith, not That's join right them! <laughs> Wait, hold on! I gotta compose myself! I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have the high ground. I have to. I have to. <laughs> We've been quoting episode three all day today. I'm dead. <laughs> Anyways. I'm having a. Oh, chest pain. Don't die on me. Uh, I hate sand. <laughs> It's very tasty. <laughs> Is that your review? Yeah. Did you guys hear that? That's it was your review. Tasty. It's tasty. It's tasty. Doesn't taste anything like the Millennium Falcon, but that's okay. Millennium. Well, I said Millennium. This is it. My end was a little silent. Oh my god, oh my I'm dead. God. It's spicy. I got a hold of that one of those pork bellies. Oh, are we done recording? Are you recording? <laughs> yeah, I've been recording the whole time. Whatever. This show's off the rails anyway. All right. Cheers, fresh bake. Happy season of the Force Day. It's not Star Wars Day. <laughs> now, forgive me, but I'd like to take a quick break from this construction update to let you guys know about Getaway Today. You may already know that they are our preferred vacation planner, travel agent uh, for our fans who are looking to book a trip to Disneyland or Walt Disney World or more. Universal Studios Hollywood, Universal Orlando, SeaWorld. Legoland, you name it. And I'd like to think that we know them very well. We've met many of them personally. 
and we know how kind they are and how really tremendously good they are at their jobs. And that's why I'm confident in referring our fans to Getaway because I know, I am confident that you will be treated just as well as we have. If you're planning a trip to a Disney park or Universal or anything else of that nature, if you're planning a trip soon, use the link in our description so that they know that we sent you and so that we know <laughs> that you were sent to them through one of our YouTube videos. And in so doing, you can be confident that you're going to be getting some of the best possible service from people who know everything there is to know about planning a trip to the Disney parks. Thank you for that. Let's get back to the show. Looks like the job of the Hut popcorn bucket is still doing brisk business. You know they got plans when they put tape down on the ground to sell a popcorn bucket. That's a good one though. Take a shot at uh, seeing the rider on Space Mountain, or I'm sorry, high for Space Mountain. Let's do it. I, it's been a very long time since I've been on any type of mountain, so. You mean like at Disneyland? Like space or, or I mean like regular space mountain. I'm saying this mountain in particular. We're gonna go on Hyperspace Mountain. <laughs> May the force be with her. It's kind of a new route for single rider. I don't think I've ever been down this way before. I, I'm feeling super hyped for, for Hyperspace Mountain right now. Never been too big a fan of this, but considering how much Star Wars that we've been consuming recently, this is about as hyped as I've been for a long time for Hyperspace Mountain. And I will not forget to mention that it's taken us so far 23 minutes to get to this point. Fairly long wait for single rider these days because of season enforcement. 23 minutes to get to this point. And this, I believe, is where we're going to say goodbye to you, Liz. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. To the fire. Use the force, Liz. Bye. I had fun. That was good. I like that. <laughs> I, I enjoyed that. Physically, I was a little woozy. It's Get a little woozy here. It's been a minute since I've been on uh, space, so space is not even that bad. Space, um, but like visually, I was. I'm like, like I said, I'm so glad we like been. I know. One through nine, so I'm like really enjoying today. I I really <laughs> that's the most I've ever enjoyed Hyperspace Mountain. Yeah. Ever. All the just hear the lines, the music, it's and the music. Job, yeah, really and I. Uh, you know, I actually kind of got it a little bit. I kind of felt part of a little story there. Because so, normally I'm just like, ah, it's kind of meh because the projections are meh, you know, and yeah. all that. But I'm like, no, no, I, I get this. This is great. Unfortunately, the blue wall still isn't working, but, um, you know, that's okay. That's all right. The music was great. <laughs> it makes up for it. When I was walking out trying to find you after we got out of the vehicle, I had, in my mind, I had Ray and Finn after their first battle on the, with the Millennium Falcon and from... Uh, Force, Force Awakens, Awakens, where they were both so excited, they came rushing to find each other Aww. in the uh, in the um, you know the deck of the Falcon, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they because they just they just defeated a couple of Tie Fighters and were flying through the wreckage yeah, of the Star that Destroyer. Was a good moment. <laughs> oh, babe. And so I was like, I was like, she's Ray and I'm Finn. Stop. You know, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed on the food. For season of the force, this thing is going to go on for a month or more, and all the food we got was a cheeseburger. Actually, that's not even new. Some the bow were really good. I really enjoyed that. But there's no no seasonal churros. Unless we're going to get it all in May. Well, on actual Star Wars day. Or they're saving it for Star Wars night. But I don't want to go to Star Wars night. I want to go to Star Wars season of the force. We're just gonna get a basic just Ray churro. 
<laughs> That's what they should just call it. Just Ray? Right? Just Ray right, Churro. <laughs> Original. <laughs> Dude, we are all about the sequels right now, aren't we? We are so up. I thought it might take as long as it took me to get into the prequels, which I'm just now coming around to. We watched those recently and we're like, oh no, this is great. I have a lot of nostalgia for the prequels. And then we're watching like, this is kind of crap. No, no, it's mainly two. I just cannot get into the two. I'm like, the she doesn't the last, like, like, she doesn't like Attack of the Clones, but I minutes, do. You know, of like that whole scene of like the battle scene. Other than that, I, I just do not care. I mean, Attack two. of the Clones, we get sand. Okay, that happens. Yeah, the right. sand line. I hate sand, yeah. I hate sand. And him talking about what the Galactic Senate should be doing. Blah. But the the final battle, you know, the, yeah. the uh, with the Jedi and all that, that was great. Mm -hmm. You get to see Yoda get into it. Yoda was great. Yeah, Yoda was really... Oh, yeah, that's when he was Dude. fighting Count Dooku, right? Okay, so if you were there, you, you might remember, I saw it on opening night, Attack of the Clones, and uh, the crowd went bonkers when Yoda pulled out his lightsaber yeah, out of his jacket. Badass. Well, <laughs> it, he force pulled it out of his out of his uh, uh, Jedi robes. The crowd lost their mind. Just, so just Ray. That should be a Just Ray. Best Just Ray ever. <laughs> just Ray. Just Ray. <laughs> or here's what I can do is if it's the end of the film at Rise of Skywalker and I ask you what your name is, you look off into the distance for a couple of minutes and then come back to the camera and say, Ray Skywalker. I mean, it's a good thing we didn't get you the full Ray Skywalker churro. <laughs> So just the Ray. Just the Ray churro. I'm just gonna run with this joke for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> By the way, I'm like I said, I'm really disappointed. How come we can't get the dark side light side churros? I'm I maybe May. It'll be open to the public. On Are May you saying court. that it's gonna be May? It's gonna be May. I know we're almost <laughs> there. Fans, we're almost there. It's gonna gonna go. I don't know if you can see this and the trees. Very windy. Very cold. We're waiting for our Star Tours <laughs> lightning lane to kick in, but it's very windy and very cold. I don't think we're gonna get our John Williams music uh, fireworks tonight. I don't think we're getting fireworks. Is it the ones that we always get for like Star Wars night? No, it's new it music that they did just. That's right, just for yeah. In the capital city of Spain. You might even catch a glimpse of the recently elected Queen of the Moon. Let me just jump off. Oh, oh, yeah. Star Tours now features more flights to more destinations every day, with the most on time departures and arrivals in the galaxy. All our Star Speeder 1000s are piloted by the very best Class 3 droids. You know, one other positive thing I will say about Rise of Skywalker is that I feel like that was C-3PO's best performance. Would you agree? Yeah, he wasn't really that whiny, which was, no. when, he, when he got restart, I was like, oh, yeah, I, a C-3PO yeah, that He got you some know. good lines, yeah. some jokes. And he was without R2 for most of the movie, too. Okay, that is kind of weird. That no, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah. They're like, you know, like, Bert and Ernie. But yeah, right? You know what I mean? Like, they're like, they come together as a couple. Yeah. They're like Joey and Chandler. Attention. We are now ready to get reboarding for flight 6017. I just want you to know that the wait time from this point is currently 75 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want you to see your face. <laughs> they try to run the court. Alright. We got gate C. I, I think they assigned the, the C by the group. Well, I heard anyway. Yeah, we overheard someone talking to us. That what A, A and D were Ahsoka, which means we might have. Not Ahsoka, but maybe Mandalorian. 
Oh, oh my god. There we go. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's like I'm at an airport. <laughs> there you go. That's Star Tours. They should they should uh, Star Tours should be sponsored by Kaiser Permanente. If you know, you know. He said it wasn't Mando. Uh, Star Tours 1401, you are cleared for departure. We can't take off. The captain isn't on board. Auto takeoff sequence initiated. Man. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm kind of getting out. freaking out. It's just coordinates I'm transmitting to you. Okay. Together we can win this. Oh my yes. god. I'm counting on you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's whales. Yes, I do believe this part of the world. Let me not even let you be space whales. Right. Space whales. When the actors get into it, like they don't, they don't, they yeah. don't mail it in. Right. He went for it a little he bit. For, yeah, he, he did. He's adorable. I love him so much. Yeah, he's great. I love Cassian. So we gotta watch Andor again now. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. I've only had the one season so far. Yeah, yeah, just are the one season. A, are we getting a season? Two? Yes, we are getting a season two. Yes. Good enough. <laughs> I barely watched it because I just couldn't. I, I don't know if that helps, by the way. Back in Galaxy's Edge. Back in Galaxy's Edge. Try to stay in that. Star Wars bubble. I like a Star Wars bubble. Looks like things have cleared out here a little bit, huh? Yeah. I know it's brisk. <laughs> it is. What planet would we be on right now? That would be Hoth. We are in Hoth-like like conditions Hoth. here so cold. on Batu. Very cold. Black Spire, Black Spire Outpost. We've got about two hours before our. We have a, a reservation at Ogus. Uh, we had it set up so that uh, our Oga's reservation would coincide with the fireworks that are going to happen at 9.30. But I don't know, if, again, I don't think that's going to happen. But So we got two hours. I wasn't planning on doing Rise of Resistance because I know that's such a time commitment. But we've managed to efficiently get through this day with a uh, little time to kill. So we're going to go check out a 90-minute standby queue. May the force be with us. Well, also the powers of uh, Fresh Bakes Q Science. We'll find out how, yeah, that is true how legit that 90 minutes is. Plants of Disneyland, if you're watching, have you done these plants? I'm sure they look have. like something you'd find on Pandora. They're so pretty. Oh my God, I love them. 
Well, that's a good start. We've reached Rise of Resistance. That's the Lightning Lane queue. It's almost completely empty. That's a good start. It says 95 posted. Let's go see where the back of that queue is. I mean, we're going to stay in it either way. Because... We better have good conversation for 95 minutes. Or we just go dark and completely silent until we get to the Ray Room. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> They look a little sticky. They're not moving. Oh God, oh my gosh. <laughs> my short wife, her, her reaction did not quite make it into frame, but it's not looking good. Oh yeah, yo. And by the way, Lightning Lane is sold out, I think, for Rise today, too. Wow, 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 We may not make it. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. We're using the whole thing. We're getting the whole queue. Every bit of it. No, man. I, th I think we should start and see how it goes. Right? We got time to kill. What else are we going to do? It's freezing, though. It's a problem. That's true. That's true. It is four degrees out. One. <laughs> What's the temperature? One. One. <laughs> so we got into this queue at 7.02. We need to be out of this queue by, or we need to be out of the attraction by 8.00. 30, I guess. That gives us exactly 90 minutes. Well, let's, I guess, see how it goes. They it's, should really have people like going through like the lines for like, peanuts, popcorn, get your peanuts, popcorn, pretzel, Sprite. My wife wants a pretzel and a Sprite. <laughs> they don't have that here in uh, Galaxy's okay. Edge. I, mean, I don't feel as bad as I thought I would. You gotta go back to the, back on world for that. Okay. I think I'll be okay. So uh, they really should have people just like walk right down these. The sun has gone down and we have reached the caves. It is now 7.30. It's been 28 minutes to get to the caves from that section four, which isn't bad. I figure another eight minutes in these caves and then another 22 minutes in the interior queue before we get to the Ray Room. I'm expecting to be in the Ray Room at 8 p.m. Calling my shot, Ray Room at 8 p.m. And then 20 more, oh, there's my out of frame wife. 20 more minutes to, to get through the attraction. We'll be out of here at 8.20 in plenty of time to enjoy two new beverages at Ogus Cantina and listen to DJ Rex spin. <laughs> I've been singing that song this whole time for this kid. Luke. Do you know where Luke's Lonely Island is? That's Lonely Island right there. That's Jedi Island. <laughs> Remember that one time Ray showed up? She she flew halfway across the galaxy 
to deliver a hand deliver Luke's lightsaber. And, and, and then he just chugs it. And then he just chucked it in the ocean. So great. That's that was like great. The, like the best. That was great. Like Star Wars, like like cinema history. I think is that moment. Total subversion of expectations. Love it. Like, he's spicy, Mark Hamill. He really is. Yeah, it shows in, in Luke for sure. Yeah. What time is it? I swore you said 7.58 as well. No, I said, oh, I think I said 8. I thought I said I 8. I swear I thought you said 7.58. Either way. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Should you be in flight prep? Transcort us to the rendezvous point on Bacara. Right. This is Black Leader. Stand clear. Deck doors open. I'm looking for fruits. <laughs> Oh, Dan was here. It's moving again. It's moving again. It didn't move like this before? They stopped the, the oscillation for a while. People got sick? I don't know. But I'm feeling. No, I think they maybe fell over or something. You lose your balance. But this is definitely the floor is moving again. Get a I love Poe Dameron on Dude, Rise of the Resistance. So, he's so great. He's just going for it. I love that. Yeah. Who was the other guy that I liked going for? Oh, it was Cassian on Star Wars. He went for it too. This vessel is now under command of the First Order. Prepare for interrogation. Everyone up now. This way, online. Look at it. <laughs> Usually you don't get this much time to, to yeah, watch the like stormtroopers. in the marketplace after our adventure with the with Kylo and Poe Dameron and General Hux and General Hux what's it on the bridge uh, <laughs> my line the one line I like is your what's it on the bridge oh or needed on the bridge one of those two anyway rise of resistance 
Hot day, that's a great attraction, man. It's the best ride That's ever. great. Hey, how are you? Uh, but we got a few minutes to spare. Nailed my estimation on the wait time to get into Ray's room. Very proud of that. But uh, we're gonna head over to Ogus Cantina. We're gonna go check in for our 850 rendezvous. I've been told by uh, Miguel at Magic Journeys to get the Chantilla Orb. Yeah. So we're gonna look at that. He said and, you uh, have to get it in the souvenir to make it look pretty. Oh, you have to get the souvenir yeah, glass yeah, too? Okay. It's, it's gonna look like, you know. And are you still getting the martini? I think so. I, I'm, a, I'm a gin drinker, so I. Yeah, I she I doesn't do tequila I don't do, anymore. <laughs> no, I, no, I do tequila. I don't do coffee. And it looks like the crowds are getting ready for the fireworks tonight, yeah, man. If it happens, I'm not very optimistic. It is still very blustery here. Black Spire Outpost. Ooh, I can hear the beats dropping already here in Ogus Cantina. Very exciting. Are we getting a booth? Wow. Because it's really cold outside, so I have my beanie on and my hoodie. So I, I really do look like a Sith Lord right now. We're in a booth. Yeah. So you can do it. It's like very much. Ten totally different yeah. flavors. Hey, it just moved on you. You're, you've been targeted. Uh, very prep quarters in here, very tight, very busy, but we did get some orders placed. We found out that the drinks we want were being served in those chalice and the orb. So we've got that chalice looks great. It looks great. So we're standing by for our drinks. Stay tuned, and then we'll take a tour of Oga's when we're done. It's so pretty. Is that our? Oh my. Look at that beauty. That is really beautiful. That's this one over to you first, and then I'm gonna put the stand down, okay? Okay. You have to put it on the stand. Yeah, don't forget to put it on the stand. Oh, yes. Very Mustafarian. So easy on the theory. That's a spicy That's a, that's a, that's so cool. This is going in there. Yeah. yeah, just pour it very slowly because it's very spicy, okay? Okay, ration it. That's mine right there. That is the fiery Mustafarian. Uh, it's got the tequila, the Aperol Aperitivo liqueur, peach puree, peach syrup, and lime juice, lime juice served with a dropper of spicy lava juice. I wonder how, how many parts of Anakin are in this. I have to wonder. Because this is, comes from the planet Mustafar. It looks like a cigar. And you're supposed to just very delicately put this in there. That's the challenge. It's like science. I only made it to the first one. I was done after that. Now do I stir it? I didn't realize the drink was so big. That's dark. That's why I was like, you know. So, and that's the Sandrillon Chalice. That's what I had my eye on from the very beginning. It's beautiful. And that is going to be the uh, Silver Sea Martini inside. Gin, Minute Maid Lemonade, Ginger Syrup, Honey, and Mint Syrup topped with a shimmery butterfly pea flower tea. Like spice it up so we can get it into bite size like yeah, spread. <laughs> it's like it went through my blood too. Um, I definitely taste the honey. And that's a very, very subtle. Yeah, it's like a mint honey drink. Oh, okay. It tastes more minty this It's It's sweet. It's like I'm having tea. Well, that, yeah, they said it is yeah. topped with a, with a uh, where is it? It's like a very refreshing tea, like a, like, um, 
like having like a chamomile. Shivery butterfly pea flower tea. Yeah. It's very refreshing. So it's not a martini. No, it's like. Mike's hard lemonade, but better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try my Mustafari. Oh, yeah. Not really. I, we didn't put very much I didn't, in there. Can we put more in? Yeah, put a little more in there. But it is delicious. Yes. That was kind of outstanding. Can you get in there? Yeah, try it again. This might be the best tequila like drink I've ever had. Yeah. Because it's not a margarita. This is the first time she came with me. That is amazing. It's delicious. Wow. It's sweet. It's super sweet. I mean, Miguel poured all of his in because, you know. He did? Yeah, he did. Did he go for it? <laughs> well, I don't mind spice. I, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I'm not getting any of the heat yet. Oh, that's it. <laughs> no way. What? I only did half of mine. He don't break the pot. It looks really spicy. Yeah, it'll spill. Oh yeah, because it's got a. Uh, that would be so sad. <laughs> that would be so sad. I gotta try to mix that up. Make sure we get that. I brought you water. Thank you. Okay, so she emptied the whole thing in there and everybody had to talk to me. When you're done, let me know so then I will rinse out that one and then that one I have already so. Okay, so thank you. I'm not going to lie. Do they spot the water? Yeah. 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 I'm still not getting it. No? And I'm not, I'm no, I'm no hard case either. Like, I mean, I can tolerate heat, but... It's a, I mean, it's a little bit. You get it at the end. Towards the end. <laughs> I, I'm trying, but I don't have anything to mix it with. I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah. She's like, no. Well, one way we go like, What drink is that right there? The little one? What is that? Jet juice. Isn't that good? Kind of like an old fashioned. It's like it's just like oh, um, yeah. That's why I like in a shot. Like um, like almost like the like the really good. Like good. Like good. Yes. Oh, you're right. Yeah. When they, they when they coat it with the uh, yeah. color. Oh, so that's the glass. Yeah, the glass. Yeah, the glass is doing that. Yeah, look at the cake though. Have a good one, guys. Bye, yeah. guys. Have a good night. You're probably getting more heat than I got because you're getting there in the bottom. I don't, yeah. It's definitely different for sure. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's sweet. Too sweet? Oh, really? By the way, note. <laughs> note, by the way, these two drinks are imports from the Star Cruiser. Can you hold me put that up, please? I want them to see no, the, the, this thing. I'm going to show them the logo. I don't know if we can get the light right. There you go. See there. There you go. That's the that's the logo for the Star Cruise in Florida. Well, we did it. We did everything. That we was did. available to us. Well, we didn't. I couldn't find Sabine. We, we never did find Sabine, Sabine. Nor did we do the fireworks. But other well, than the that, fireworks wasn't our fault, man. They they canceled those suckers. Yeah. While we're in there getting our uh, delicious Mustafarian drink there at Oga's Cantina, which is quite a scene. Had a great time in there. I wish I had more reasons to go to Oga's Cantina, it's just, but it's so, so busy. It's so, so busy. I always feel so rushed. Yeah, we sat there really... with 10 strangers. And, I mean, we made, we made friends with no, all of people, them. people, like, I don't they know the cool. people hanging out. It's more so, like, I feel like we need to hurry up so more people can come. Exactly. You, you know feel kind of rushed. You can't, you you can't just take it and have a kickback. Yeah. But uh, great night, man. Great. It's so fun. I love excuses to celebrate Star Wars. I love the fact that we just watched nine Star Wars movies on our tent. Yeah. And uh, we were primed for this evening. And, uh, you know, the, like I said, the only thing we missed was the fireworks. I don't know when I'm going to be able to shoot that or come back. I don't know when I'll be here again at night. But um, 
That's really the only thing we missed, Anne Sophie. I still don't see her. She's nowhere around here. I mean, will she come out at night? I don't know. I don't know. But that's okay. If you guys, you know what? I, I'm sure some other channel. I'm sure we ran into Miguel oh, no, and Janelle. Oh yeah, no. Peter and Kitcher got them. Peter and Kitcher got Sabine. Did they get Sabine? I think so. They did. Okay. So we got you covered. As for us, we're gonna we call it a night. Covered in the uh, let's quote uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith over and over. <laughs> that's what. That's what. That's what. That's what we got for you guys going. Yeah. Okay, that's my they got Sabine episode. Rem. We got. <laughs> I've got the high ground! <laughs> Just give up, Anakin! Oh my god. So good. So good. <laughs> Episode 3 is the best. I don't care. You were my brother! You were my brother! Hey. I don't. Let's get dark over here. Oh. Let's sign this thing off, guys. Okay. Uh, I hope you had fun. I had a great time. Uh, stay tuned for more. I think, I think this event might be putting off the construction video until tomorrow. And then State of DCA to follow that. Uh, and then more to come for Fresh Bake. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to join our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbake. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at underscore freshbake. On Twitter at freshbakedisney. That's fresh with no E. And on TikTok at freshbakedisney. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, guys. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Make sure you have the high ground at all times. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. And uh, you're one on the bridge. I hate you.